What is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a video on all the different ways that you can save your files and save your work for like print or for the web and stuff like that. So first you need a file that you want to save. So I have this uh, thing that my girlfriend drew and it's pretty cool. I got it printed on a shirt. And um, yeah, so you need your working file and you need it to be done or like done enough. Um, you know, maybe you're ready to send it to a client for a proof or something. Uh, so let's see what you have uh, option wise. So if you hit file up here in the top left, um, you can see save as. I can't select save right now because I haven't actually changed anything. So let's change something. I'm going to change this to forest green. And so now you'll see that I can hit save. Well, if I hit save, it'll just resave over the already there file. Um, but then if I go and hit save as and I'll save it to my desktop so here's the first one and you know of course if you have like maybe two it'll just save it as the same thing just a little bit different um, but then you know here's a PDF option an EPS option and an SVG option these options are um, different file formats that different companies may need when printing uh, your stuff uh, so a lot of times I'll save things in PDF which makes it editable um, by other people and you know you can open it in like maybe Corel draw and other art um, other art programs that aren't necessarily Adobe based and the people will still be able to open it print it edit it if they're not using Illustrator um, but usually you want to make sure that all of your work is expanded first before you save it as a PDF um, so yeah you could do save save as PDF and once you hit save, um, it'll this will pop up. And a lot of the times, I just leave this default. I know that you can select different things like maybe high quality print, press quality, uh, stuff like that. But a lot of times, I just leave it default. And I know some people, when I'm at work, I have to send PDF Acrobat fours um, for people using an older version of Corel Draw, I think. Um, so that may be a problem, but usually I just leave it all like this and don't really change anything. And then, you know, you just hit save PDF. And if on the desktop, you'll see that here's my Word PDF along with my Word uh, Illustrator file. Okay, so say maybe you just want to upload something to Instagram or Facebook. Uh, nothing really too high quality, just, you just need a JPEG pretty much. So if you do export and if you do save for web legacy, it'll pull up this screen and here you can select JPEG, GIF or GIF or PNG and the PNG will leave a blank background so if somebody needs to use what you made them on like a website and they don't need a background behind it this is what you would want to use um, but I'm going to stick with JPEG right now and you can change the quality I usually just use the quality at 100% and you can change the size and stuff like that so saving it like this it'll say images only but uh, you know it'll save it as a JPEG up there so I'll save it to my desktop again okay so it's saved to my desktop and so here it is as a JPEG and I can double click it and open it and if I go to right click and properties you can see that it's only 168 kilobytes was which isn't that much so that would be perfect for like I said um, Instagram or Facebook or like Twitter or something and uh, okay so another way you can save things is file export and then if you do export as I actually haven't ever done export for screens so I'm not really sure what that does it's something new that was released in the 2017 version of Illustrator CC but anyway export as and whenever you're doing export as um, you know you can save it there will be more options well you'll wonder why, what's the difference between this JPEG and the other JPEGs and like this PNG and the other PNGs um, these are higher quality because you're exporting them versus like saving them so let me just do the JPEG and if you don't click use artboards then it'll like save everything that's on your file so I don't want this to show up way over here so I'm going to choose check uh, I'm going to check use artboards so once you hit export it'll come up with another little menu screen and here you can change the color format so that if somebody that you're sending this to needs RGB colors then you can change that to RGB versus changing it to CMYK uh, that could be useful because I know from experience that 
if I make something in CNMYK and then I have somebody print it in RGB, the colors will not be exactly the same. So you need to keep it in the same like color model, I guess, as the person printing. And of course you want to leave this maximum. Uh, I usually just leave that uh, standard and then I usually change the resolution to 300 PPI just because it's just higher quality and it'll look better. And so I'll hit OK. And so that should have also saved it to the desktop. And so here is a JPEG, a JPEG, and I, I can hover over, and like so. This was the one that was 168 kilobytes, but then this one is 1.82 megabytes. So it's much larger. It's a much larger file, which means that if you were to print from this only, it should probably turn out pretty good, as long as you don't need to blow it up too much. Um, and I, I guess that's about it. Those are the three um, ways that I save things the most. So hope you guys found this um, helpful, and I'll see you guys next week.